Welcome to this video about adding and subtracting fractions. We are going to teach you how to add and subtract fractions. So let's take a look at our first question. Okay, so here's our first question. 4 over 6 plus 1 over 6. And that's fairly easy, right? 5 over 6. But how about we try something a little bit harder? So, do you notice anything different about this question? That's right! Uncommon denominators! So, to solve it, you must find a... Common denominator! So, does anyone know how to do this? Well, if you don't, we're going to teach you. So, what is the lowest common denominator between 3 and 6? Well, there are two main ways to figure out the lowest common denominator. Let's take a look at both. Here is option number 1. Okay, so welcome to option number 1. So, the first thing you need to do is figure out how many times 3 goes into 6 which of course is twice. So then you multiply 3 by 2. But wait, there's something else. Let's see if this song might ring any bells. So now you know that we also multiply 2 by 2, which of course equals 4 6. And so now we have 4 6 plus 4 6, which of course is 8 6. So now that we figured that out, how about we check out option number 2? Okay, so now we have 3 4 plus 7 13, which is like, ah! Because they don't go into each other evenly. So now all you have to do is multiply 13 by 4 and 4 by 13, which gives you a common denominator of 52. So now we have 39 over 52 plus 28 over 52, which equals, after much help from the calculator, 67 over 52. Now that we have that figured out as well, let's take a quick look at subtracting. So subtracting this question is basically the same as adding it, except you get rid of the line. So you basically do the exact same thing with this question as you would if you were adding, except you're subtracting. So a quick review on adding and subtracting fractions. Always find the common denominator. Add and subtract only the numerators, not the denominators. And, and always have fun!